Crypto products and NFTs are unregulated and can be highly risky. There may be no regulatory recourse for any loss from such transactions. What exactly is DeFi and how is it different from TradeFi? Sure, you know, that's, that's a good question and probably everybody you ask will give you a different answer on that one. But let me let me take a stab at uh, giving you my view of uh, you know, DeFi versus TradFi. So TradFi is what, what all of us understand as, you know, the traditional banking that has evolved over the last 100, 150 years, which includes, you know, your banks, your stock markets, uh, how you're transferring money to each other, how you make payments, that's kind of traditional finance. Uh, what we have with DeFi is, uh, you know, like I would say a completely redesigned version of, of finance and which leverages blockchain. Uh, and what this does is this actually, you know, um, A, it's built for the digital uh, world. So it's built for digital transactions, uh, built for a digital thought process. But what it also does is it brings across like some fundamental changes. Uh, the first one, the first big change is actually inclusivity. So it it's, you know, it's a decentralized for, uh, uh, format of finance where there's no central owner. Uh, who controls uh, the transactions and that allows everybody to be a participant on this it democratizes finance completely it decentralizes the stakeholders so that's a big one and the other you know the really big change i think decentralized finance brings in is efficiency uh, you know transactions are instant transactions are low cost uh, uh, you don't have to wait a uh, few days for money to move from point a to point b so it's all instant so i think honestly i would i can the list goes on but these are the two large things that are different with D DeFi versus stratify <laughs> Crypto products and NFTs are unregulated and can be highly risky. There may be no regulatory recourse for any loss from such transactions. 